Welcome back again. Uh, so what we wanted to do in kind of these last three, they're really kind of one video, but I broke them up, is we wanted to do a problem um, in like first making the finite state machine, then implementing in PicoSoft, and then implementing them on a PIC, uh, be kind of a nice way to, to finish things up with an example. So the example we're going to do is a combination lock. Combination locks are kind of a classic finite state machine because they follow a very nice progression of you've got some state where it starts, you've got kind of like the first digit in the lock, the second, the third, um, and then if you finish the thing successfully, uh, you go to the success state, it unlocks. Um, however, if at any point you do something bad, uh, you know, you come into failure. So we're not implementing this specific finite state machine, we're actually going to make our own, but this is kind of the concept that you'll see in any combination lock finite state machine. The problem we're going to do is uh, this guy right here. So we're going to do a combination lock uh, that has the numbers 4, 3, 0, uh, and then you press enter. Uh, once upon a time I built one of these things. Let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, the one I built. Uh, so once upon a time I built this little guy. Uh, all it does is if you press clear to kind of clear off, and you press 4, 3, zero, and then enter, you get a green light. Uh, if you press clear and then you enter some other combo uh, and you try to press enter, you get a red light. Uh, so it's a little finite state machine uh, that tracks uh, where you're at uh, to make a combination lock. That's it. All right, so kind of talking about some of the specifics of that. Um, the one that we're gonna build, uh, just for simplicity, is gonna only have a total of seven buttons. Uh, just four, three, two, one, and zero. And then of course we need a clear and an enter. Note that if you type in some other combination like, you know, four, 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 two, one, um, nothing displays. You don't get a red light right away until you try to press enter uh, and then you get a red light. So for this problem, what I'd like to do is I'd like for you to do all the different parts of it. Uh, and so the first part is uh, read this description, make sure it makes sense to you. Uh, and then I'd like for you to actually make the finite state machine yourself. All right, take a minute and see if you can uh, build it by yourself. All right, I'm gonna kind of build it up as well. Um, I mean, the short story is that, you know, you've got uh, a ready state. I'm gonna do it ugly and then clean it up. Um, you've got a spot where you've put in the four, you've put in the three, you've put in the zero. And then if you read the description carefully, there's actually another state uh, for, you know, like unlock. Uh, or I guess I could have called it success. And these transitions, of course, happen uh, when you have a four, a three, a zero, and then an enter. Uh, and then if at any point you have troubles, uh, you've got failure, right? So there are all kinds of ways to go to failure. Every state can send you to failure. You can even go to failure if it's unlocked and you keep pushing things in, you can go to failure that way too. Uh, and then you'll need some system to reset this thing. So every single, um, every single state has a clear option, right? So you can kind of draw, it gets ugly, um, a clear from all of these guys. And then I certainly don't want to bother label all the ways you can fail because there's a lot of ways to fail. As far as the outputs go, um, there is a melee machine output in failure uh, to where if you press enter, it'll show you a red. So it'll only show you a red when you press enter. And then the unlock uh, is kind of more of a more machine um, in that it's just gonna show you green while you're sitting in the unlock state. So this is kind of my ugly version. Uh, fortunately for you, I have a pretty version right here. Uh, so here's kind of the pretty version uh, it's the same thing that I just discussed. Uh, hopefully you're able to put together a finite state machine uh, that kind of caught these features uh, for how it moves around. Should be a total of six different states. Um, and this is the thing that we're going to try to implement on different systems. So we're actually going to go ahead and cut this video lecture off um, and we're going to make the implementation on a PLC one video and we're going to make the implementation on a PIC, a separate video. And I think it'll be really neat to see how you do it uh, on different systems. All right, see you then.